first guest became a Hollywood legend thanks to his role in Ghostbusters. Now you can see him in the hit NBC show, Quantum Leap. Please welcome the one and only Ernie Hudson. How exciting. You look absolutely amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm so proud of you, all your success. And, Thank you. And the show, and I'm just uh, so absolutely honored that you invited me to be a guest on your show. I've always been a fan. Now, we did a movie together where you played my dad. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I was your dad. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. You were amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I always thought, I used to wonder, I'm like, I wonder, are we related? We got to check the family like, uh, chain or something. Well, this is America. OK. You know what I'm saying? Basically, we might be related to all these people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so, you grew up in Michigan. That's not, still not too far from Chicago now. It's exactly, yeah. My, uh, my relatives came to Chicago first, and then some went over to Michigan, but we'd spend summers in Chicago and Elgin, which is just outside of Chicago. That's close enough. Um, I love Chicago. It's a great city, and uh, if you got some money. And uh, <laughs> not so much money if you ain't got any money. But, uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm sure we... You know, family would have crossed paths. Just maybe. And you've been acting for almost 60 years. That's right, yeah. Did you ever think that you, your career would, you know, expand this long? Well, you know, it took me a minute uh, after high school to figure out what I was going to do. And I'd stumble into acting, and I realized that this is something I want to do for the rest of my life. You know, I want to be one of those guys who, you know, I'm on the set, and they say, cut, and I'm standing there, and they go, oh, my God, I think he's dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, I want to do this as long as God blesses me to do it and people are willing to pay me. You're doing a great job. You're a big Sidney Poitier fan. I love Sidney Poitier. He, um, he, he was such an inspiration where he came from, his family history. He was so elegant and graceful and uh, he was just amazing. Anybody who's not really familiar with his work, I'm sure you all are, but just watch some of his stuff. Um, and uh, I did, first movie I did was with Gordon Parks, mm -hmm. who called Sydney and said, you gotta meet Ernie, he's, you know, and Sydney was slow responding, so I, I decided to go to the studio, <laughs> took it upon myself, <laughs> and, uh, and I think it was, uh, Sydney was very annoyed by that, so. <laughs> so for a number of years, I thought he didn't like me, but I, I did a, a movie called Snoop Dogg's Hood of Horror with his daughter, Sydney. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked with his daughter, and, and, and Sidney and I, uh, before he passed away, became what I consider friends. Um, but early on, yeah, I don't, think he was, I don't think he was a big fan. But I always admired him. Yes, I understand. Do you think he helped inspire you to act? Well, you know, my grandmother would say that, um, you know, Jesus is the light of the world. She said, but we're all lights of the world. And the best gift you can give is be an example of what's possible. If I'm gonna be an old man, an old black man, I don't wanna be an old broke black man. You know what I mean? I, you know, I don't wanna be the guy who's in bad health. Yeah. So, um, so when Portier did what he did, it, it opened the door of possibilities. You know, you think, well, if he can do it, then right. it's possible. And once you know it's possible, then you got a shot. If you don't think it's possible, then what's the point of trying? Mm, Y'all hear that? That's a life lesson right there. Okay, so Ghostbusters came out over 40 years ago? Yeah, Ghostbusters was, it's getting close to 40, yeah, I guess this year will be 40 years. 40 years. Like, that's a classic, it's timeless. And I know, like, when you're shooting something that's classic, you kind of don't, there's no meter to tell we're shooting a classic. Did you ever think it would last that long? Well, I knew when I met Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, that uh, it would open well, you know. But in those days, it would open number one. Mm. And then a few weeks later, something else would replace it. But Ghostbusters just kept going and going. Ten years after the movie was out, people were still wearing the jumpsuits. Right. 20 years, 30 years, <laughs> to this you know, and uh, I, I didn't expect that. And I'm so just honored and uh, thankful to have been a part of that franchise. Mm -hmm. They're doing another movie. Yeah, I was going to ask, they're doing another one. Yeah, they're doing another one, and uh, I'm not sure if... Um, this is amazing! I'm not sure if, um, if I'll be in it. But, um, but just, uh, just for the fans to know, it won't be because, I, it, because of me, so. We need him in it. We don't um, want to hear it no other yeah. way. 
you you gotta be in it. I'm, well, listen to Hudson over here. Okay. <laughs> it's like Jennifer. Can you tell us about your first car that you ever bought? Well, yeah, I, um, you know, you're at the, as a kid in Michigan, you just, you just want a car. Mm -hmm. And the first car I bought uh, was for $50, and I bought a, I think it was a 1955 Oldsmobile um, that uh, was really going to be important, especially in trying to get a date. But the problem was every time it shifted gears, the smoke would come up in the back. <laughs> A window, and so it would fill with all this smoke. So you couldn't drive the car without your windows <laughs> rolled down and your head stuck out the window. Um, but I've had some. I love cars, and I've had some wonderful cars. But um, that was not a great car. <laughs> I bought my second car was um, an old Plymouth. I can't remember, 51 or something, and uh, the floorboard was all rusted out. So you could see the 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 street. You could look down and you could see it going by. And you had to be careful not That's to let like your foot slip down because if your foot slipped down, uh, you'd probably lose it. So, uh, what? but um, <laughs> but you know, I, I, I love cars and I've been very blessed with some great cars. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.